A U.S. warplane has crashed in eastern Libya following an apparent mechanical failure. There was no indication that the F-15E Eagle had been brought down by hostile fire. According to military sources, both crew members ejected and are now safe. You'll be aware that a U.S. aircraft crashed last night. Clearly this is a matter for the U.S. authorities to comment on. My understanding is that both crew members are thankfully safe. The plane reportedly went down near the rebel stronghold of Benghazi. It follows a third straight night of airstrikes against Colonel Gaddafi's forces. A U.S.-led coalition has been in action over Libya since Saturday, enforcing a U.N. resolution to protect civilians from government troops. President Obama, who has recently come under sharp criticism on the airstrikes, has continued to insist that Gaddafi should quit honorably. Uh, our military action is in support of an international uh, mandate from the Security Council that specifically focuses on the humanitarian threat posed by Colonel Gaddafi to his people. Not only was he carrying out uh, murders of civilians, but he threatened more. He said very specifically, we will show no mercy uh, to uh, people who lived in Benghazi. On Monday, U.S. President Barack Obama said the U.S. would soon cede control of the operations in a matter of days and not a matter of weeks. That a leader who has lost his leg legitimacy decides to turn his military on his own people, uh, that we can't simply stand by uh, with empty words, uh, that we have to take uh, some sort of action. NATO officials say they do not expect any decisions for several days on whether the alliance should play a command and control role in military operations around Libya. Aaron Ocheng, Mark TV News.